In this video tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to make money, okay, in a bearish and in a bullish market, trading margin on the Binance exchange, okay? So basically what we are looking at this um, in this video tutorial is all about Binance margin trading, okay? And then with Binance margin trading, okay, um, you can actually make money when the market is, you know, bullish and then you can actually equally make money when the market is bearish. So the most important thing is for you to understand how it works, which is why I am going, um, I'm, I'm actually making this video and I'm going to teach you how to, you know, um, do that right now in this video. So if you are new to the channel, you love videos about crypto trend investing, okay, um, you want to consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published. All right, and then if you want to learn more about crypto, you can equally um, join my Telegram group in, using the link in the video description. So to be able to do this, I'm going to demonstrate everything using the Binance mobile app. All right, so to be able to do this, you need a Binance account and then you need a verified Binance account actually. So if you are new to crypto, you don't have a Binance account already, you can use the link in the video description to download the app, sign up for an account, get your account verified if you are in Nigeria. It is very simple. All you need to do is use your BVN and your account will be verified. Then you can start um, trading with these strategies that I'm actually going to share with you. Okay. So once we log into our Binance app, all right. So the first thing we need to do is to come in here to trade. That is how we can assess the Binance margin trading platform. Okay. So come in here to trade. Here we have trade, we have features, but our focus there is just on the trade option. So um, if I click on trade, okay, once I click on trade here, we can assess the convert, the spot, the margin, um, fiat, P2P, and then the auto invest. But our focus in this video is on the margin trading, okay? Our focus in this video is on the margin trading. So if I go ahead and click on margin, you see that it has the same interface um, with, you know, the spot trading. The only option, um, the only few differences is that on the margin trading, you have this margin option here which is isolated and if i click on this arrow you will see cross <laughs> okay and then you have borrow all right and then you have auto borrow but for the buy the sell the limit all of these are the same thing if you know how to trade on spot then it will not be difficult here but the only difference there is that here on margin okay we trade with leverage meaning that if i'm using isolated as you can see here the isolated is saying 10x for xrp Okay, so if I'm using isolated on Binance, it means that if I have $100, I can actually borrow up to 10 times that amount of money, meaning that I can buy crypto here worth $1,000 with my $100, make profit from it, and then pay Binance the commission which they charge per hour, okay, at the end of the trade, I'll pay them the commission and then keep the bigger share of that profit that I've made in that trade to myself. All right, and I have been trading SRP of recent with the Binance margin trading, which is what I'll be sharing with you my experience and then how I was able to profit in this. Okay, so at a point right now, this is what SRP is trading at. Okay, but at the point, SRP, the news, um, SRP was all over the news, and then it woke, we woke up some uh, one day and then we saw that SRP was actually very high at 55. 55 cent to 56 cent okay and then it started dropping you can equally see that on the chart if i go ahead and click on the srp chart so once you select your coin here okay you can look at the chart from here so i'll go ahead and click on that let me show you what is possible sorry so once i click on the chart yeah um i am on the monthly let me go back to the daily time frame so here is the daily time frame just click on that if i click on it all right so you see that few days ago from here srp went to um, almost 60 cent, um, 56 cent and then it started dropping okay so one is, one, one, once it dropped here then it started retracing upward again okay so what did i do um when srp was lower i think i bought at 47 cent yes i bought at 47 cent and then i sold at 51 cent all right so here I bought, I bought more, sold, and then bought more here to pay back my loan and then made money. So the margin trading, while you are trading with borrowed money, you can make money whether the market is going up or it is going down, which is what I'm sharing with you in this video. Okay. 
so to go to the margin trading um, um, right away all you just need to do once you are here first you need to select the coin you want to trade so it is assumed that you already know the trade um you've done some of your technical or basic um, analysis on a particular token and you want to trade that okay so like i did with srp that's i'm going to use srp for you so now when you select just go ahead and click here if you don't see the token here okay if you don't see any of the token you want to you can click on the search um option here and then search for the token if i go ahead and search for srp for instance so if i just type in um xrp it comes up so you see srp usd TSRP, BUSD. Ethereum, Ethereum and then BTC so whatever I said you have now I do um, have USDT so I'm going to trade with USDT if it is BUSD just select it okay so once I select it you see it here all right once you selected the coin you want to trade the next thing is to select your margin mode okay you have on the uh, margin trading on Binance you have cross and then you have isolated so if I click on the arrow where it says isolated if I click here you see cross and then you see isolated okay so for this particular token if i select isolated it means that i can get up to 10 times the amount of money that is i can borrow up to 10 times okay then if i select and choose cross okay cross will say is 3x cross is always 3x now the difference between cross margin and isolated margin is that with cross okay if I go ahead and transfer USDT here, let's say I transfer 1,000 USDT or 10,000 USDT, it means that I can use that money that I transfer to this cross margin to trade SRP, okay? I can equally click here to change this to BNB. I can equally use that same money to trade BNB. I can use that same money to trade um, BTC, Ethereum, any other token I want to trade. This single money that I've transferred here, I can use it to trade on each of these tokens that I'm going to select but it will always be on cross mode and I'm getting just three times that amount of money because it is cross mode okay so I can trade across every other asset all right but the limit of what I can get is 3x all right but if I change it back to isolated I am going to get 10 times whatever amount of money that I transferred here but I can only use the money here to trade XRP because I transferred it on the XRP USDT pair. All right. This is what I want you to get. Uh, so I transferred it on the XRP USDT pair. So I can only use this to trade XRP, but I can get up to 10 times that amount of money. All right. So I prefer trading um, isolated. Okay. On the isolated mode. I prefer trading on the isolated mode. All right. So right now my risk um, level is actually almost 1000%, um, 999%. So uh, because I've not transferred any money here and I've not borrowed. So once you borrow, you need to pay attention to the risk level here, okay? Once it is leaving this green level, as you can see on the indicator here, once it's leaving green to yellow, it is a signal that all oh, um, your account is risk, uh, getting risk here, okay? And then when it gets to red um something bad could happen you can get liquidated all right so margin trading you can get liquidated because we are trading with leverage so getting liquidated means that binance can liquidate part of your your account okay and then save the money you've borrowed from there because they will not want to lose this money this money they are borrowing to you or you are borrowing from them are money that other people are lending so meaning that when you make profit here and you make interest, Binance takes that interest and pays those who have the funds. So in order to save their money, okay, if the market goes against you and you don't notice it in time, it means that Binance can get your account liquidated. All right. So those are this is um, the risk that it get uh, that is involved with, uh, you know, um, with a trading margin on the Binance um, um, platform. Okay. So if I come in here, once I select the token, the next thing is to go ahead and, you know, transfer funds. So I just click on where it says um, transfer this arrow here. So if I click on this um, two opposite arrow, it brings me up. So I'm going to transfer funds USDT in this case from my spot wallet, okay, to my XRP USDT margin. If I have XRP as well, I can transfer that. But I just do USDT. So when you click on max or you put in the amount you want to transfer here. Okay. After that, you click on confirm transfer. And then that amount will be transferred to 
your account okay i'm not going to do this because i have my funds in futures trading all right right now so um i just transferred the usdt and once you transfer the usdt okay once it is on auto borrow whatsoever since we are doing 100 um, um isolated mode on the 10x now that is on auto borrowed automatically if i transfer one thousand dollars here you see that that one thousand dollars will be showing uh, as ten thousand dollars okay it will be showing as ten thousand dollars now because it's showing at ten thousand dollars doesn't mean that i have borrowed i can only work when i now trade when i buy or sell all right so once you transfer your funds here now how do you make money when the market is going down and how do you make money when the market is going up on the binance um margin um, or on the binance margin trading platform so once i transfer the money here now this is where srp is okay right now it's trading at 51 cents so if i go to the chart normally what i do is just use i can do you know scalping on on the binance margin so what i do is use the um this um in, uh, indicator called the rsi okay if i'm going to scalp then i will not be looking at it on the daily time frame i'm going to look at it on the 15 minutes or five minutes time frame so what i do is just to change to 15 minutes on the time frame change to 15 minutes okay so once i look at this at the 15 minutes now what i do is pay attention to the rsi here okay so rsi is currently the number that is showing where this indicator is where i highlighted okay is showing 38 so the way i use this is that rsi need to go below 30 anything 27 25 10 15 in as much as it is not above 30 once it's below 30 i am going to buy okay so in this case what i can do is to borrow money and buy srp here all right so when the price gets to a level here or thereabout i'm going to sell and then pay back the money i borrowed once i pay back the money i borrowed the interest um and then um pay binance the um margin trading interest then the remaining one i can keep to myself all right now if for instance i saw this um at this level okay and then i noticed that rsi is showing over bot okay the rsi is already showing the overbought level because this is the number you use to determine now the overbought level means that the rsi here should be indicating when rsi was here it should be indicating that it is above 70 75 80 90 or thereabout is overbought all right once it is overbought it means that any moment from now the market will start retracing so if i've uh, if i uh, let's say earlier um before now if i've seen this year when rsi was 52 cent almost 53 cent okay i would have sold bought that is borrow sr um srp from binance sold it here and then wait for it to drop here when it drops here, i will buy more so let's say i sold i bought here um srp i borrowed srp worth ten thousand dollars okay maybe it gave me 200 or 300 of srp if i sold that here i would have bought that 200 dollars would have bought or the ten thousand dollars would have bought more srp here so if i borrowed one thousand from binance i will pay one thousand then the remaining one becomes my own now the good thing about binance is that uh, binance margin is that once i pay back the loan i borrowed or the money i borrowed i can transfer the remaining asset whether it is in crypto asset or in stable coin to my spot wallet okay so once you know this please pay attention to this when the RS, rsi is showing over but anything above 70 you can buy sell okay and then wait for the market to retrace back again buy more of those coins and then pay back the one you borrowed once you pay back the one you borrowed you can now you know keep the remaining one for yourself how do you do that if i come back okay to the binance so let me just go back this is um where we do the buying and the selling this is buy and then this is the sell okay so let's assume that the market is overbought all i just need to do is to come in here and say i want to buy srp at 52 cent okay this is i am selling all right so i would have just borrowed srp what if i have ten thousand uh, and one thousand i can borrow up to ten thousand what of that okay i'll come to the sell tab so once i come to the sell tab i want to sell srp at 52 cents so if i go ahead and change this to 52 so remember once again it's ten thousand because we are using 10x leverage okay so the ten thousand would have given us um sorry 
ten thousand yes it would have given us about this token okay this is what we would have gotten so i just go ahead and click on sell srp all right so once i sell this amount of srp i will now wait for the market to retrace back to this current price where it is here all right so once the market retraces back here remember ten thousand bought us this so if i come back to the buy option okay at this current price if we still buy what that ten thousand okay this time around remember we sold eighteen thousand of this this time around we are getting nineteen thousand so this nineteen thousand means that if i buy nineteen thousand now i can now come here to where it says auto borrow change it okay from auto borrow to either auto repay or i can come in here to where it says borrow okay once I click on borrow, okay, and it tells you transfer asset because I don't have asset, but I'm just demonstrating this so that you get understanding, okay? So if you just click on that or you come into the cell um, tab, then you see where it says, um, once you click on that borrow, it gives you the option to, you know, repay, all right? So once I now get 19,000 worth of this token, I can now repay back the 18,000 I borrowed and then 1,000 becomes my own, okay? So at this current price, if you sell, um 1000 worth of srp that means in that transaction alone you have made 500 dollars plus okay so in this transaction alone you have made 500 dollars plus all right right now if for instance if i go to the chart again if for instance this rs rsi is showing anything below 30 this is 36 okay if it goes below 30 all right if it goes below 30 all i need to do this time around is to buy all right so i can come in here let's say it goes below 30 and then this gets to 50 cent or thereabout i can come in here to buy i'm just using rsi because it is the simplest indicator you can understand and it gives you 80 to 90 percent win rate okay um there are other indicators like support and resistance that you can use to you know check when the market will break out and the rest so i can come in here to buy okay borrow usdt buy this token all right at this point and then wait for it to increase to either 52 cent 53 cent okay when i increase to 53 cent i cannot sell and then when i sell i'll repay back the money that i've borrowed okay and then keep the remaining one so it is this simple right it is this simple if you don't understand you can use the comment section and ask your question and i'll see how you can attend to that it is this simple so with my binance margin you can make money both when the market is going up and when the market is coming down i have done it time with that number and i'm sharing this with you i hope this video will help you make some money please one thing i needed to note is that if you don't do this well you can get your account liquidated and when you get account liquidated it means that you can lose your money but if you do it very well try to study the platform very well but if you do it very well you will always be making profit and the profit you'll be making here will be even be higher than even trading features or trading spot all right so in a single transaction if you have up to one thousand dollars here in a single transaction you can make 500 600 depending on how you know the market move okay the margin between when you bought and when you sold you can make even up to a hundred two hundred percent at a go pre transaction just trading margin on the binance platform all right so i have to stop this video here so that i will not get you bored with you know too much explanation if you don't understand anything you can always use the comment section that is it for this video if you do gain value from the video give it a thumbs up all right and then if you are new don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published that is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video